hi guys so I wanted to do a little video just to show you how you could really easily use your A4 cardstock to get a similar um, sizing so that the card and the layers are all in proportion as you would do with a, a um, American A2 obviously with the with an A4 piece of cardstock which I have here the width if it will focus <laughs> the width is eight and a quarter so as opposed to eight and a half so when you then cut this down the middle to get two pieces out of one two base cards out of one piece of cardstock you're going to land up with eight uh, sorry four and an eighth so if you want to work an eighth that's fine you can do the measurements and work it out and that's great but I found in another way that you could make the most use out of an A4 with A4 you've got enough length it's more than it's it's actually almost at 12 inches so you've got more than enough length to get your 11 inches it's just the width that lets us down so I've done a little cheat sheet which is over here in my planner and I'm going to show you how out of two pieces of peekaboo peach one piece of Mellow Mumbo and one piece of Whisper White cardstock I've got four four layers or eight layers and four base cards um, just to show you that you can make the most out of your piece of cardstock now you can um, if you're doing the length um, at four and a quarter by eleven which is what I normally do to get a true A2 card then you will have a four inch piece left that you can then cut down into layers but when I did unless I've done it wrong <laughs> when I started looking at like how to get the most out of these pieces of card stuff you do you will tend to either waste more or have too many of one kind of layer if that makes sense I mean you can still do it but this way you know if you want all your bases to be this color and a different color for your layers and you know your second layer to be a third color then this is you know how I've kind of worked it out it will be slightly smaller than an A2 um, I either have to in my head just come to terms with that <laughs> or just carry on the way I've been doing it um, making it four and a quarter across cutting it sorry cutting it at four and a quarter and then having a four inch piece there um, yeah <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to get this um, I'm going to explain with the piece of card stuff because obviously I've done it here but I will give you the measurements so you start with your A4 piece now I decided to do this so that the I'll just get the layers out of the way I decided to do it so that the cardstock, when I fold it is going to be down the center here you have seen in the past my other videos where I've got a like a longer the length of of a um, piece of cardstock and then the fold is sort of if you like at the top but I do like working with this size and this way you would get you could do it both ways but this way you can it, I don't know the maths just works better for me <laughs> but like I say you can do this both ways um, and trying to explain it I think will be easier using the this shape um, the card itself will be the exact same size so that makes no, no difference whether you're going down this way or this way so to get this size for your base you've got your A4 cardstock um, and if it's in your trimmer you're going to then across this length in fact let me see if I can get my trimmer in here I don't know what this is going to do to the camera and if it doesn't work then I'll just try and explain it so what you'll do is you've got your trimmer oh, look at that so what you would do is you would I'm not actually going to cut this piece but you would first of all line your piece of cardstock the longest side so landscape into your paper trimmer and you would first cut it at da, 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 let's just make sure I'm doing this the right way 
you would cut it at ten and a half. Right, so you've then got a piece that measures ten and a half. You then move it along and cut it at five and a quarter. So you'll end up with two pieces. You then take those two pieces and you put them together, turn them sideways. Right, so now you've got this sort of shape. You've got two of them together. You then put it back into your trimmer and cut it at eight inches. And that will give you two of these base cards. So you do that with two sheets of this cardstock, say in one colour. I'm using the same colour cardstock here, but just so you know. So then to get your first layer, what you do is again, you'll put your, the length of the sheet will be this uh, landscape. You'll then, uh, let's see, I have to work this out. You're then, you're cutting off half of an inch again. So you're going to slide this in to 10 inches, trim that piece off, and then you'll slide it across to 5 inches. So you're cutting in half again. Put those two pieces together that are now five inches wide. Turn them sideways, like we did before with this size. So you'll have two that are smaller again. Put them into your machine, uh, uh, into your machine, into your <laughs> trimmer, and cut them. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> oh yeah. So then you cut this piece to seven and a half, and then. So that will give you an excess piece or half an inch off and then down to three and three quarters. So that way you will land up with four pieces that will be, obviously I've done a different colour, but you'll then have four pieces that are going to be the layer, your first layer on your card. Okay. What I'll do, in my blog I will put all the measurements and I'll try and remember to put them on screen here somewhere. So then for your third layer, if you so wish, same idea, you're going to put this in landscape. Your this one you're going to cut at seven uh, sorry at nine and a half, so another half an inch off the last your pink layer if you like. So nine and a half, trim that excess off, and then move it down to four and three quarters and trim that. Again you'll have two pieces, you're going to put them together and turn them sideways. Just as an example, you'll have two pieces again and you're then going to cut this at seven inches so you get rid of that excess strip and then a three and a half and that will give you four pieces again that will be the layer second layer on your card. So what you would land up with is four each of your base card, your first layer and your second layer and this way the, if I can line them up somewhat straight, your layers will be <coughs> even around here. The problem I have with like an A6 card which is our equivalent to an American A2 is that the proportions aren't right, like I can't get Oh, I don't know. I, I just can't seem to get the actual layers right. So, you know, and this is supposed to be fun. This isn't supposed to be hard work. So what I did was I used um, the American A2 one and just took it down a little smaller. So instead of it being, instead of this piece for an A2 being eight and a half by five and a half, we've now gone down a quarter of an inch and this is eight a five and a quarter etc with the you know each layer so I just thought I'd share that with you because it's one of those things that have been frustrating me for quite a while so <laughs> it's kind of sad that I let that frustrate me but it did it did so let's get this out of the way <clears throat> so now I have four of my second layer ready to be stamped on four of my first layer and four base cards ready to go. Now you don't have to make four cards at the same time. You can use this to do different cards as such. You know you can do completely different things on them. I have got a colour 
selection that I've, I've got going so I am going to make a card with it but I thought I'd cut four and show you how that works and how to get your four layers and your um, base cards and get the most out of A4 cardstock. So I hope this was helpful I will be back with probably this well with this same color combo um, with a few a couple extra colors added in um, in the next video and I will show you how to do some sort of two-step stamping I'm gonna see how it works out but, um, so watch for the next video but I hope this, this was helpful guys and um, I'll see you in the next one bye